Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is uh, 16th of January 2017. Okay, so uh, tomorrow's the 17th. Be alert for big earthquakes, just like last month. Anyways, um, I want to point out this one overlay I did earlier. I wanted to show you the weather on this other overlay that's, this, that updates itself. This weather is weird, but you can see that they don't show it all to us, right? Certain areas they don't show. Like here, I guess, because there's not, I don't know, maybe, they just don't show because that shows something there. But anyways, this shows something big time. This right here is, this is the same overlay I showed earlier in the video called No Main Impact. And it's not moved. I haven't moved it. I'll never move this this overlay. Never. It'll never move. I'll copy it and, and redo it or something if I have to. But look at, it, look at that. Look at this spot right here. Start right here. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something in a minute. But... It, some other feature in this pattern that you can see. Okay, see that? Look at that weather fit that. This is weather that I just brought up. It's current today. I mean, I had no idea what it was going to look like when I brought it up. You can see it fits that, that weather fits that pattern. It might be a little bit off, but not really. I don't see it being off. And this right here, let me point out this area right here. This is what shapes the lower half of South America. This, that weather right there. See that? That's this right here in South America. This here. See that? I noticed that years ago. I I was you know doing some doing some stuff on uh, on here and, and just noticed the weather over here one day. I could see South America wet in the weather so perfect here one day. And I overlaid North or South America here and it, it just fit so beautifully. So it shows it shows a lot of things. This weather being, I'm going to save this weather and I'm going to overlay it over South America just to show you that you know how interesting it is. It's really interesting. The weather shows you a lot. It really does. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't say it if it didn't. I'm not trying to bullshit anybody here. I mean, you can see what I'm talking about. I'm sure. I'm sure you can see. Anybody with eyes. Just do it this way. I'll just call it this. <laughs> it's easier because it'll put it to the top of the list. Okay, so let's turn that off. Oh, oh, bummer. Yeah, I better turn it off anyway. It don't matter. I'm, not, I'm done showing that anyway. Okay, so uh, what am I doing here? Turn this off. And then going over here. South America. Do the overlay right here. This will be interesting. Um, pictures today. And should be right here at the top, pretty much. Oop. Thought it would be. Okay. I mean, it's. I know you can see it already. I just want to, you know, I just want to do the overlay so you can, you know, it's fun. The overlays are fun to do because you can, you really learn a lot doing the, doing the overlays of the weather. The weather shows you so much. Look at that. Ooh, pretty interesting. Shows all the curves and all the geologic formations in the weather. That's why I always say the weather shows the surface of the earth. That's some something that people can't get through their head. I I don't know why that's a problem to to understand really. I mean, it seems easy to me. I mean, the weather <laughs> is shaped like the earth, like the surface of the earth, which shows that since these moon craters align to the surface of the, uh, to the weather so well, when you flip the lunar surface pictures over, it shows that there's a print on the moon that is the same on the earth it's just a mirror image there is a print look at that I mean look at that you know what, am I, what, what can I say how important can the moon be I'd say it's pretty important 
I mean, I've, I've shown some amazing overlays with the weather and the, and the moon and the, and the earth. But even without the moon, even if you don't include the moon, the weather still shows you the history of the earth. I mean, look at this right here. This is just weather. I, I, mean, I didn't need the moon to find it. So, you know, make it what you will. There's South America over here showing itself in the weather. Right there. Right over here. We can turn on the regular weather and see it maybe a little better because that other stuff's kind of patchy. Kind of, I'm sorry, my microphone keeps rubbing on my jacket. Come on, weather. Okay, there it is. It's right where I've seen it in the, in the past. That puts South America, the, it, the big round impact, right in the center of all this, too. You know, North America, it puts North America here. It puts the Southeast, a or Southeast Asia here. And it puts South America here. And everybody talks about the land bridge and all that. You know what I mean? You can see that South America had to be here. Or that weather's coming from South America all the way across the whole Pacific, which is huge. Huge, and I don't even think that the weather travels in that direction. I'll, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, most of it. The, if it's over the equator, it's going that way for sure. So anyway, that's important to understand in the planet. I think it really is. That's an important concept to, to realize. You have to realize the weather when this weather is showing us right here, and it's over the Earth. That feature in the cloud is on the surface of the Earth, right here somewhere, right in this you know vicinity. Same with all this. This pattern is on the surface of the Earth. I don't care if it's over the ocean or whatever. This this pattern, and it'll show differently all the time. But it'll you know you'll see repeats, repeated patterns all the time too, which uh, shows that you know some days it shows some things and some things some days it shows other things during certain times of the year it shows certain patterns and then other times of the year it shows other ones you know it's but the weather does show the surface of the earth that's just something important i think everybody needs to understand that because i mean like like i pointed out before if we had the weather here they don't give us much weather here you know because they know this is the third pole of the earth they call this the third pole of the earth that definitely has weather here most of the time but if you take this land away and the weather was there, I'd, I could tell you right where that, you know, I was looking. This I'd say that's weather from, you know, here. Because it's shaped like the Earth. And I know that shape on the Earth. So I would just, you know, know. So the weather is shaped by, like the Earth, surface of the Earth. When you see any weather pattern over the Earth, right below it somewhere is the same pattern. It comes from the surface of the Earth. All weather does. It shapes itself. All weather shapes itself like the surface of the Earth. All of it. And that's, I guess, that shows that right there over South America. I think that shows that. And, you know, usually the weather will match that. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. Maybe it's a, if I moved it over a little bit, it would match. Well, let's see. Better check first. Nope. This right there. I can see that pattern right in there. Not exactly the same, but you can see what I'm saying. Good enough. Shows a similar pattern. Okay. Anyways, that's it. Just another one of those pieces. Another thing. Not more confirmation. I mean, I, not that you know, there hasn't been enough already. But this is what they show us. Have a great night.